Hello, Junior Doctors. Welcome back to Junior Doctor Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be talking academics, and we're going to be doing a continuation of All About Surgery, but we're not going to talk about one specific surgical procedure. Instead, we're going to be talking about key terms that are extremely crucial to all surgical procedures, and that is anatomical positions as well as anatomical planes. So let's start covering anatomical planes. So instead of the transportation, which you would imagine once you hear that term, it's actually how you display the human body. So let's look at this image. So on the left of this image, you would see the sagittal plane in action. That is when you divide the human body into half through here. So it's like in the middle, like with the right and the left, like this. And as you can see, on the left, they have shown their left side profile. And so the sagittal plane is basically showing the side profile of a human body. And so on the right of this image, however, that is the coronal plane in action. So the coronal plane is when you divide the human body through the middle again, but into the front and back. So that is the coronal plane. And there's this third plane that's not featured in this image, which is the transverse plane. It's not used as often, but it's still a plane. So that is when you divide the human body in half, but into the top and the bottom. So um, when you divide it through the belly button, you would only see either the top half of your body or the lower limbs. Yeah, so that's the three planes. So now let's start talking about anatomical positions. And some key terms that we have to keep in mind is the appendage, which is referring to any limb of the body. The supine, and that means that the human body or the patient is lying on its back and reclined. And so let's talk about a more specific definition of anatomical position. And so that is the standard position in which the body is standing with feet together, arms to the side and palms facing forward as well as head and eyes. Yes, so it's basically the image I showed you with the coronal plane, so on the right. So now let's talk about anatomical positions, like exactly the terms. Okay, let's start with the easiest ones, the right and the left. So the right is the right and the left is the left. And now let's talk about proximal and distal. So proximal is um, closer to the top and distal is closer to the bottom. So let's do an example. If we have a coronary artery and there is a blockage right below the aorta, then we would say the blockage is distal because it's below to the aorta. However, let's say the blockage is right um, in the blood vessel, right above the wrist. Um, and then we would say, because the wrist is below, so we would say the blockage is proximal to the wrist because it's above. So easy peasy. Now let's move on to medial and lateral. So this one is where it gets a little more tricky. So medial and lateral refer to the position relative to the midline. And the midline is the vertical line drawn through the center of the forehead. So it's basically where you draw the line when you're displaying a sagittal plane through the midline. And it's through the belly button to the foot. And so medial refers to the feature that is closer to the line while lateral while well, lateral indicates that the feature is further from the line. Okay, so that's a little more tricky. And now let's talk about cranial. So cranial is right in, um, in the back of our head. And it is, if you want to remember it, you can remember it 
as um, the crown because you would put your crown on your head. So this is the cranial. And so opposite to the cranial would be the rear end, right? The rear end is the caudal. And if you have watched the fish dissection I did a while ago, the caudal fin is also um, where the fish, the fin of the fish, that's basically right above the rear end. So it makes sense, the caudal. Now let's talk about posterior and dorsal and anterior and ventral. So posterior is in the back and dorsal is basically a synonym of posterior. And however, in the front is anterior and ventral. Okay, so that will be the things we're gonna cover today. And remember to drop any questions down below and remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you so much and see you next time. Thank you.